Hi, this is Mike Hibbert, back for the second part of uh, the basic Python tutorials that I've been running. Um, this week, I'm going to cover the subject of uh, functions um, and basically how to how to write them and how to pass arguments and return values. Um, I've written a sample program just to basically uh, help us to understand how how functions work in Python and. I'm going to take you through that step by step. Now, what I've written may seem a little bit complex to you, but it basically works out in the end to make sense. So uh, let's take off with that. So the first line I'm going to show you is just basically how do you tell um, an operating system how to run a script? And this is how. If you're on an Ubuntu machine, then putting hash and then exclamation mark forward slash user forward slash env space python will tell the command line shell that this script can be run by a python interpreter so that's our first line the second few lines we've got is an example of lists and dict now basically we've got a dict dictionary here and um, when there we've got some keys with value pairs a key with a group of values which is basically a list of strings still contained within these th two brackets here so it's within the dictionary now if you've programmed in any other language you probably probably understand this better as an associative array it's very similar to that and more or less exactly the same um, so you can basically use the keys to access these uh, values within the actual dict as they're known so for instance I could type in config and then use the key uh, base URL type that again base URL and if I was to print that out that would print out the value of my website so it's basically it's an associative array that you can key through to get values a list however if I was to go pages, the output would then become this. However, if we went pages zero, that would output the word home. Okay. So, how are we going to use this with functions? Well, what I've done is I've created a little system that helps us to gen generate website addresses based on um, what we input. So, I'll show you what we're going to do. And explain this a bit further. We've got in our main part of the program that we discussed in the last lesson, I'm using this function called get page URL and I'm passing it a word. And from that, this function that we're going to look at in a minute will generate a full website address. And also, notice this one is services and the argument to this function. Now, we look up here in our config, there is no services, so we need to write some code that will handle that error and return something that is sensible. Now, this might not be useful to you if you're a database programmer, but if you're a web programmer, it's a really great and handy function to have because then it stops you from sending your visitors off to wrong URLs that don't exist on your website. So, the function we've got is this one now 
Now, this is basically a one argument function that takes in the name of the part of the website you want to go to and then checks to see if it exists within the site's config, which is what we've done here, our config dictionary, and then returns the URL with the full base URL on there. So where does it do that? So we've got the name, we initialize that to be nothing to start with, but then we do a check if the name is in the config section pages, the page name equals the name that we've just tried to query for. And then we come to this line here. Now, if you don't know Python, this is basically a string with uh, place markers. The percentage means a place marker, but this S means for string. Um, you can have other things like I, which is for integer. And the list goes on. This marker here says, right, we've finished with the string. These are the, the values that come next will be the things to insert in there. Then we create this list here. We open the brackets. Sorry, not list, tuple. We use a function called base URL to find the config's value for base URL and return that. And notice there's no arguments to that function, it just returns a value. Then we use whatever we've currently selected as the page name. So this logic here, if there is no value or, or the value name is not found in the config, that variable will stay blank and be, be nothing. So ideally, this would forward you back to the index page of the website, the first page of the website, rather than sending you back to some page that doesn't exist. If it does exist within the site's config, then it will set that and confirm that it is a valid page name, and then it's appended later here. Right, so what does the base URL function look like? Just a one-liner. Define the function with the name brackets, no command uh, arguments in there, and simply return the contents of the config dictionaries section that's keyed with the, with the words base underscore URL, which should be this value here. So, in our main section, the first one is for home. We should get our website address forward slash home. In the second line in the main, we're trying to get the page URL for services. It's not in the pages list, so therefore it should return just the website address and nothing more. It should send you straight back to the front page of the website. And finally, we have print get page URL for contact and that's in the pages list. So then that should come back with the full website address forward slash contact, like our home example there. So let's run that, or rather we'll save that and run that first. I'm going to put it into debug mode because although I don't think there are any errors just in case because if there are then we can we can step through and see what's going on. So in our debug IO window we have three URLs that have been printed out. First one is our home, the full website address. Second one is for the services and notice that there isn't anything on the end of there because there isn't the service page in our config up here. And then finally, contact.
Right, well that's the end of this second uh, example. I hope that this has made sense to you, and if you have any questions, please post them below in the uh, in the uh, comments section. And if you like this video, then please press the like button, and uh, please subscribe to the channel if you want to see more examples. And I'm very willing to take any suggestions on anything you'd like me to demonstrate in the future. So leave us a comment if you want anything specific done in a tutorial.